Hey, what's up? It's Yanni. Coming with some comics from a local convention. Got some really good stuff, so just going to start it off here. Amazing Spider-Man. So this was the first dealer I went to. Usually at a convention, I don't stop at a table right away. I like to go circle the uh, arena, if you will. Check out the wares. Check out the, the goods. But this table, when I walked in, I couldn't pass it up because he had a table. He had a sign stating $2 Bronze Age comics, lots of boxes. So I just started starting hunting. I mean, I was a little bit late in getting there. It was a, probably about two hours after the opening. And the longer I waited, I figured it was going to get picked over. So I started started hunting. One of the books I found here. So these ended up being. Um, he had him um, twelve for ten dot twelve for twelve for twenty, and I got a a couple stacks of those and another book, and they ended up coming out to about a buck thirty five each. So here's what I got: Amazing Spider-Man two ninety four, part five of the Craven's Hunt. Uh, I've shown a couple videos where I'm picking those up, especially just because I think there's a lot of potential future value in those. Simpsons Comics and Stories, number one, first Simpsons and Comics, it's bagged with the poster. Alpha Flight, number one, picking those up for sure. Web of Spider-Man 29, not a particularly high value book. It definitely goes for more than most books in the run because of the Wolverine cover. Uh, for that price, you can't pass it up. Uh, Smurfs, number one, let me quickly pull this one out, hopefully we got enough time here. This thing, when I, when I first saw it, it wasn't even bagged and boarded. Most of these were. But I saw this thing and I thought, man, what a gem. This thing is really nice. And when I got home, looked at the back and I saw that there was like a little chip. And then I opened it to see how bad it was. And you can see right through it. Son of a gun. I mean, this thing is, it's probably minimum, not, I, I would i would say this is a 9-8 book, minus that, that chipping off the, uh, the binding. I'm not really sure how that would happen. Uh, maybe it's a 9-6. There's a little bit of a stain, so maybe, I don't know, 9-4. Let's drop it down. Newsstand, great looking book. Just really upset to see that. Uh, DC Presents 27, first Mongol, and looked great, and then when I got home I saw, whoops, I don't know what happened there, somebody uh, was resting their chewing gum on there, then they pulled it off. Marvel 2 and 161, book I've shown a couple times, uh, you know, this guy had a lot of good stuff, so I was only really, you know, good stuff for a dollar. I was only really targeting the high grade stuff, so this is probably one of the higher grade ones I've had. Marvel two and one. Here's some. Here's one for a radar. Marvel two and one, twenty nine and thirty. Um, do you know about this? Thirty. Obviously, you can see who's on the cover there. Spider Woman. So that's her second full appearance. Also, second cover because Marvel Spotlight thirty two. She was on the cover. 29, though, also features her at the very end. So, good pair of books to pick up, especially in this grade, especially at this price. Definitely going to be keeping an eye out for these as the women superheroes only get more popular. Spectacular Spider-Man 82, great Al Migram cover, uh, Cloak and Dagger, Kingpin, Spider-Man, How Can You Go Wrong? Nice high grade book, 90. Second, I believe it's the second. I don't know. First appearance of Spectacular Spider-Man of the black costume. Here's a here's a definitely a good book to get if you can find it in high grade. Again, these reprints, you really want to find them in high grade. Fantasy Masterpiece number four, reprint Silver Surfer number four. Great iconic cover. Problem with this one is I don't know why, but they took out the 
the bee frost, the rainbow uh, bridge that goes to Asgard. I don't know why they took it off on this. That's what makes this cover in the original Silver Surfer, but this one still has, you know, if you can get it in high grade, people still want it. I don't know. I'd, in second looking at it, I probably would have passed, but for the grade it's in. Here's another kind of radar book. Brave and a Bold 159, a very early appearance of Ra's al Ghul, Jim Aparo cover. Uh, it's a newsstand, nice high grade book. Definitely going in the in the PC. Detective 510, pretty nice looking book. It's got a stain here, unfortunately. First, well, it's the uh, modern reappearance of Mad Hatter. Here's a couple books I've I've been showing and I really like. Uh, Detective 529 and 530 first cameo appearance of Nocturna 530 is the second appearance and cover second cover of Nocturna this cover I love it's probably up there with the Black Orchid first and second appearance in terms of covers that I really dig that are, are pretty underrated especially for the colors on them her first full appearance is in a Batman issue that runs in between these two. Forget the number off the top of my head. Detective 523, Solomon Grundy, very early, if not the first, Killer Croc in the Shadows. Can't remember if it's the first or second in the Shadows. Action 485, great Neil Adams uh, cover. It's a tribute cover to an earlier classic iconic Neil Adams Superman cover and look at the color differential on these unfortunately the higher color the better color one is in lesser condition but great book for that price here's one that I got because I wasn't really sure about it but it was a nice high grade all-star squadron number 22 I believe this is second appearance of Death Bolt but I saw these three on there Death Bolt Cyclotron and Ultra and it says makes three and I thought maybe that was like a team of bad guys So I picked that up, you know uh, Looking more into it. It's not really but anytime you can find a nice It's kind of interesting what the market's doing right now anytime you can find a really nice high-grade 9698 raw book There's a potential there. There's a potential there if you if you want to resell but put it in your personal collection, sit on it for 20 years. These things, you know, every show I go to, people have books like this that are just in their dollar box. And they're moving around every show. People are thumbing through them. They're just going to get continue to get more beat up. So something like this, it's a great, nice, it's a white cover. So I think this is pretty good condition. Just saying. All right, so I did find... Not one, All Scholar Squadron 25, but, and that's the newsstand. I did find the twin sister of the direct edition. Really nice copies. So, happy to get those. Let's see, let's continue on here. Stack's getting a little high. Flash 286. First appearance of Rainbow Raider. Making an appearance in the new season of Flash. I think it's called. Like Chroma, Chroma Man or something. It's just more of a newer rendition of the Rainbow Raider. So, might want to pick that up. New Teen Titans 16, Captain Carrot. This one's always going to have some appeal from now on. It's a newsstand too, which is nice. Make sure when you get that one that the insert is in there. And it, these new Teen Titans with the previews in them, they're pretty heavy. When I was going through some of my stock, I found one that was lighter, and I thought, what the heck's wrong with this? And I opened it up, and the whole Captain Care preview was gone. So it does say pull-out, preview pull-out, so somebody pulled it out, apparently. Shade the Changing Man number one for $1.35 all day long on that one. All day long on this, too. Look at these. There was a lot of, a lot of newsstands in here. Machine Man 18, really nice nice quality one um, what's that like cameo of hobgoblin something like that uncanny 157 newsstand again pretty pretty decent grade 
And then this was the final book I got, Daredevil 181 for $10. He had a whole stack of them, went through them. It was a pretty nice, pretty nice grade, but when I flipped it over when I got home, it had a little bit of staining on it, and actually it does, probably can't pick it up on here, but there's like some kind of mildewy staining. I mean, it's, that book right now is, is worth, and really nice condition forty dollars but that wouldn't pull that this was a different guy uncanny 221 so i'll show you i got that book really nice grade 256 and then amazing spider-man 400 really nice grade book just the uh, regular version basically i got those for free and then i paid uh what they were asking for these avengers 181 newsstand really nice grade this one is probably one of the best ones i've owned twelve dollars avengers king size number seven again newsstand great great uh high grade book twelve dollars and then i had to get this avengers 196 it's got some spine ticks up and down newsstand again i don't know this was like a newsstand heaven uh paid 25 for that so paid what they were asking for those and then they they basically threw in those other ones for no charge how about this ridiculous find on this guy because this thing is beautiful beautiful two dollars these things i have a hard enough time finding in the wild let alone for a price like that i mean there was one show i went to and i just i went around every table and i said do you have suicide squad 23 first oracle you know, what do you want for? 20 bucks, 25 bucks? Nobody even had one. And then I found that. Uh, that was a, a year ago. But that thing's going pretty crazy right now again. Preacher 51. The preview of 100 Bullets recently announced that Tom Hardy produced and possibly star in, I believe. The 100 Bullets uh, was a TV show, I think. All right, what else I got here? I got paid five for an Uncanny 201 first baby cable. Just waiting for some cable news on that. It's a really nice quality. And I picked up basically about the same quality Daredevil 181 for five dollars as well. These I got for a dollar. Hawk and Dove number one, which I showed a couple videos ago. Green Lantern 48 and 50, no 49 dollar each. Picked up a couple copies of these because they were a dollar. Captain America 34, the couple different variants. That'll have some. That'll have some lasting power. I'm gonna be sitting on them, but they'll be in the collection. Swamp Thing Annual number two, great. Uh, kind of a Justice League dark cover. Alan Moore. Follow, I believe that follows 50, which is when, you know, there's another, pretty much the first Justice League dark cover, unofficial. Dollar for that guy, Batman 408, first Jason Todd, pretty nice grade. Newsstand again, man, crazy. Gotham by Gaslight. Batman 535, first Ogre, who has been kind of influential in the second half of the Gotham TV show. Now this is not the same ogre from the TV show. The TV show guy was, is really not a, a comic book character, but this is a character by the same name. So, all right, here's one I'm definitely picking up when I see it with the live wire announcement that she's gonna be on Supergirl, I believe, TV show. Superman Adventures 23, I paid six for that. Second appearance of live wire in the animated version batgirl 14 love this art germ cover three dollars amazing spider-man 571 the anti-venom variant i paid seven for it not a, a bad price not a great price i did not have that and i collect amazing spider-man so that's going in the in the collection i mean it's i didn't even look it up it's probably a, at least a 12 dollar book i would guess in in high grade and the last book I'm going to show, 
pretty nice quality. Looking at it closer, it's probably like a VF near mint. Amazing Spider-Man 361. I'm trying to get these when I find them for a decent price also. Second print. Love that second print with the silver on it. Uh, it's got a little spine tick and the corner's got a small ding on it, but was happy to snatch that from underneath Mercenat's nose and he's going to rue the day for that one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Keep trolling those dollar bins.